I'm going to do a random touch point. Is that okay? I am recommending this to you. And it's very important that when you're going to find balance in your life, these are the five areas. Well, as a lifestyle coach, these are the areas that I'm going to concentrate when I sit down with you. And every area needs to be in balance or at least we need to be working on it. And you can't have too much of one thing with neglecting the others. So the, the five areas we concentrate on is physical, mental, social, spiritual, and financial. So those are the five areas. So financial, spiritual, physical, mental, and social. No, no one is more important than the other. All right? Because even when you go to spiritual, you can't become no earthly good. So if we go to mental, it's not if you're mentally unstable. The question is, is how are you thinking towards life? What is your outlook towards life? What is your outlook towards others? What do you feel about yourself? So are you having a healthy mental attitude? The next question would be sociably. How are you connected? Firstly, your primary relationships, if I say to you, your mom and dad, whether they're dead or alive, what does your heart feel towards them when I mention those names? And then your secondary relationships, it could be your spouse, your third will be your children, or if you are single, it's your other family members. Then you as a family, how do you sociably connect with other family, the bigger family? And then how are you adding people into your world like friends and that can add value to you as a family? Then financially, how do you think about money? Do you understand that money is a tool and how are you going to use that to achieve your goals in life? And then uh, how are you doing spiritually? How is your walk with God? How is your knowledge of God? Are you building a relationship that is focusing on getting deeper? Because you see, um, spiritually, you need to have an absolute in your life. An absolute is something that was there yesterday, it's there today, and it will be there tomorrow. If you don't, well, take Table Mountain in Cape Town. That's an absolute. Wherever you are in Cape Town, you just look for the mountain and you're going to know exactly where you are. It will tell you your position. So that's what you need to have in your life when it comes to spiritual is do you have an absolute that can be the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow? And then how is the, the physical doing? Are you doing well physically? Are you exercising correctly? You want to run with the horses, but you can't even keep up with the foot soldiers. How are you doing when you eat? Is your eating a lifestyle, or is it an addiction, or is it something to comfort you? I have challenges in those areas where certain things, if it's in my home, I'm going to eat it. And what should you have in, and what shouldn't you? And you want to live to the maximum, because you have a message, you have a story, and you want to live longer so you can touch more people's lives and add value to more people. So those are the five areas. Physical, mental, social, financial, and physically. So in other words, how are you doing? The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Carlard.